Well, folks, I'm about to do something uh, that relates to the build tip that I'm going to give you. And it, here's what it is. Now, what didn't happen when I plugged that board in? How many LEDs should light when you plug a board in? It should be the blue one and the red one. Uh, and the solid blue light with no red light usually means you're in bootloader mode. But I'm not, in fact, in bootloader mode. If I try to flash this, it will not work. And I was not pressing the bootloader button. I can flash this board just fine, but it will not actually talk to the computer uh, at all. And in, it's, in fact, it's it's just it's dead. And I've been through probably hmm, eight or nine maybe F303s now. And this is the first one that I've ever had uh, be dead from the factory. So I could have killed it while I was soldering it. I don't know. It's possible. But also it could be DOA. So even, you know, nobody's immune. The build tip that I have for you is flash your board before you install it on your freaking copter. Because I installed the board on the copter and I soldered everything up. I soldered all the things and then I went to flash the firmware and it wouldn't work. It was dead. And I had to take it all apart again and do it all again from scratch. So here's a little build tip. Take your, your naked flight controller before you solder it in and flash it with the firmware and just make sure it works. You don't have to do all the configuration or everything. Just make sure it's not dead and you'll save yourself the trouble. There's a little quick build tip from me to you and I will always do that from now on. Happy flying.